the divergence of vector point function the divergence of a continuously differentiable vector point function f is denoted by divergence of f what is it denoted by div of f this is the vector f equal to del dot f it is equal to del dot f if suppose f equal to in the form of this f1 f2 f3 in the along i j k means along x axis y axis z axis then i can write this del dot f as by using a dot b formula what is that this is the del and this is your f so what is that a dot b formula that is a1 b1 means multiplication of coefficients of i so i am getting here daba by daba x of f1 similarly here daba by daba y of f2 and daba by daba z of f3 also you remember here the curl of vector point function the definition is the curl of a continuously differentiable vector point function f is defined by curl of f equal to del cross f del is what it is a vector quantity f is vector quantity so cross product of that is nothing but curl of f that vector f so note that here vector f if in the form of Supposed to be f1, f2, f3 means along x axis, y axis, and z axis components. Then I can write here by the definition del cross f, that is the a cross b formula I can use here, i, j, k. And first vector, what are the coefficients of i, j, k? You can find here in the form of determinant. So I am getting here like this. Now here the applications of divergence and curve. What are these? That is the irrotational and solenoidal field. So a vector field F is said to be irrotational field when del cross F equal to 0 and a vector field F is said to be solenoidal if del dot F equal to 0. You can say here if divergence of F equal to 0 then it is a solenoidal and a curl of that vector field F equal to 0 then it is irrotational field. So definitely there will be MCQs on such type of examples or maybe the question. So you must note here if the vector field f is irrotational then there exists a scalar potential phi such that f equal to del phi so vector f equal to del phi and is given by d phi equal to f dot dr vector f dot dr what is the r that you know r equal to xi plus yj plus zk right and this is dr what is this dr r vector here so it is a dxr plus dyj plus dzk and that is why if we have f in the form of f1 f2 f3 then we can consider the dot product as like this f1 dx plus f2 dy plus f3 dz and this is d phi if we want to find phi then you integrate this d phi and we get the integration of this is the required phi if d phi equal to f dot dr means that is equal to f1 dx plus f2 dy plus f3 dz. So to find phi we have to integrate both sides right and what it gives? It gives integration of left hand side equal to integration of right hand side and that is why I am getting here phi equal to integration of f1 dx plus f2 dy plus f3 dz. So note that here this vector f is irrotational and then integration of this this part is a total differential right so it means that this is a total differentiation and that is why i can integrate this as directly phi equal to integration of f1 dx where y and z constant plus integration of terms of f2 free from x where z constant integration with respect to y and integration of f3 with respect to z but how that f3 free from x and y for example, if we consider the part x square y plus x y z plus y z cube plus z raised to 4. So, in this case, if we want to take this f2, suppose this is f2 and I want to take free from x term. So, I will not take this one and this one because it contains x. So, I will take only this and integration of this with respect to y where z as a constant. At the same time, see, if suppose this is f3 and I want to take f3 free from x and y. So, this contains x and y, this contains x or y or this contains y. So, I will not take only z raised to 4 integration with respect to z. 
and it gives our required phi. So consider the examples on gradient, divergence and curve. So here is one example. If f vector f equal to 3xy z square i plus 4x cube y j minus x y square k, then find grad diversion of f at minus 1 to 1. So how to solve this one? So here two steps. So first we have to find diversion of f and whatever the result then gradient of that one. So solution, the step one, but before to that, what is the given here? The given, so f equal to 3xyz square i plus 4x cube yj minus xy square k. So as we know, diversion of f. So you consider the first step, that is a diversion of f. That is equal to del dot f. So what is the del? Del is daba by daba xi plus daba by daba yj plus daba by daba zk dot. What is f here? f is nothing but 3xyz square i plus 4x cube yj minus xy square k. As we know dot product of a dot b. That is a1, b1 plus a2, b2 plus a3, b3. Means multiplication of coefficients of i plus coefficients of j plus coefficients of k. And therefore, it gives daba by daba x of 3x y z square plus daba by daba y of 4x cube y plus daba by daba z of minus x y square. So, note that the result means diversion of f, the result will be scalar quantity. It not contains i, j, k or any vector. So that is equal to, so what is the derivative, partial derivative of this with respect to x? So it is a 3 y z square plus with respect to y, 4 x cube and finally this with respect to z, it is 0. So therefore I am getting here diversion of f equal to 3 y z square plus 4x cube. Now what is the next part? We want to find grad of that diversion of f. Okay. So now the step number 2. What we required? We required grad of diversion of f and that is equal to grad of what is the diversion? It is a 3y z square plus 4x cube. Okay. This is the diversion of f and that grad. You know that the grad phi equal to del phi and that is why I am getting here it is a del of this and that is equal to what is a del it is a daba by daba xi plus daba by daba yj plus daba by daba zk of 3yz square plus 4x cube. So now you it is a simple multiplication so first into all second into all and third into all. And that is why I am getting daba by daba x of all means 3yz square plus 4x cube i plus daba by daba y of 3yz square plus 4x cube j plus daba by daba z of 3yz square plus 4x cube into k. So that is equal to differentiation of this with respect to x partially means y and z constant. So that is why derivative of this is 0 and this will be a 12 x square. So it is a 12 x square into i. Now with respect to y, so plus 3 z square into j because this not contains y, therefore it is derivative of this is 0. Now derivative of this with respect to z, so this part not contains z, so derivative is 0 and here derivative of z square is 2z. So therefore that is equal to so plus 6yz into q. So finally I am getting a vector grad of diversion of f equal to 12x square i plus 3z square j plus 6yz k. Now we want to find this value at point minus 1 to 1. So at minus 1 1. It means that here put x equal to minus 1, y equal to 2 and z equal to 1. So it gives grad of diversion f equal to 12x square. So minus 1 square i 
प्लस थ्री जेड स्क्वेर जे प्लस सिक्स वाय जेड के तो वट इज दिस वैल्यू तो दैट इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व आय प्लस थ्री जे प्लस ट्वेल्व के इट इज अ ग्रेडियंट ऑफ डायवर्जन ऑफ यफ एंड विच इज यूअर फाइनल आंसर सो कंसिडर अनादर एग्जाम्पल नाउ इज द वेक्टर फील्ड y साइन z माइनस साइन x i प्लस x साइन z प्लस टू वाई जेड जे प्लस एक्स वाई कॉस जेड प्लस वाई स्क्वेर के इरोटेशनल इफ सो फाइंड इट स्केल आर पोटेंशियल फाइव सो फर्स्ट पार्ट इज दैट वी वॉन्ट टू चेक वेदर इट इज इरोटेशनल और नॉट सो वी नो दैट इफ इट इज इफ एनी वेक्टर यफ इज इरोटेशनल इट मीन दैट डेल क्रॉस यफ इक्वल टू जीरो देन ओनली इट इज इरोटेशनल सो सोल्यूशन फॉर दैट so consider here given vector field as f so given f equal to y sin z minus sin x i plus x sin z plus 2y z j plus x y cos z plus y square k now step 1 i want to check whether it is irrotational or not so irrotational means i will check here del cross f so that is equal to del means what डाबा बाय डाबा एक्स आय प्लस डाबा बाय डाबा वाय जे प्लस डाबा बाय डाबा जेड के क्रॉस वॉट इज यफ यफ इज वाय साइन जेड माइनस साइन एक्स आय प्लस एक्स साइन जेड प्लस टू वाय जेड जे प्लस एक्स वाय क्रॉस जेड प्लस वाय स्क्वेर के एंड दिस इज अ क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट एंड वी नो द क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट इज अ डिटर्मिन आय जे के coefficients of i j k of first vector and coefficients of i j k of second vector y sin z minus sin x x sin z plus 2 y z and x y cos z plus y square so this is a determinant we know how to solve this determinant and that is i in bracket dabba by dabba y of x y cos z Plus y square minus dabba by dabba z of x sin z plus 2 y z minus j. So skip this one and take the multiplication in bracket dabba by dabba x of x y cos z plus y square minus dabba by dabba z of y sin z minus sin x plus k. Now skip this one. And take like this. This multiplication minus this in bracket. Dabba by dabba x of x sin z plus 2 y z minus dabba by dabba y of y sin z minus sin x. And that is equal to evaluate this one. So derivative of this with respect to y, derivative of this with respect to z, similarly others. So these are the partial derivatives when when we are taking with respect to y. So remaining variable constants. So that is why I am getting here x cos z plus 2y. So minus derivative of this with respect to z now x cos z plus 2y minus j derivative of this with respect to x. It is y cos z plus 0 minus derivative of this with respect to z y cos z minus 0 plus k. In bracket derivative of this with respect to x and derivative of this with respect to y. So it is sine z plus zero minus sine z minus zero. And you can observe here that is equal to x cos z minus x cos z. Two y here minus two y here y cos z minus y cos z sine z minus sine z. And that is why del cross of equal to zero. So we can write zero i plus zero j plus zero k. It means that it is a vector zero. You can note that. So del cross f equal to zero. So this shows that f is irrotational. Now we want to find corresponding scalar potential. As we know, so step number two, since f is irrotational, then there exists scalar potential phi such that f equal to del phi and is given by d phi equal to f dot dr so d phi equal to what is f here for reference that is a y sin z minus sin x 
I plus x sin z plus 2y z j plus x y cos z plus y square k dot dr. It means that it is a dx i plus dy j plus d z k. And we know the dot product is what. So I am getting here d phi equal to y sin z minus sin x dx plus x sin z plus 2yz dy plus xy cos z plus y square dz. So as you know, if f is irrotational, then integral of this right hand side is by this formula. So this is for your reference. So I am getting here phi equal to integration of f1. It means that y sin z minus sin x dx where y and z constant plus integration of this the terms of f2 free from x. So it contains x so don't consider this only this not contains x. So I am getting here 2yz with respect to y and here z constant plus integration of this with respect to z but terms of f3 free from x and y. So it contains x, y. It contains y means there is no such term which contains only z that is a 0. So that is why phi equal to integration of this with respect to x, y, z constant. So I am getting here y sin z constant integration of dx is x minus integration of sin x is minus cos x plus integration of this with respect to y. So 2z constant and integration of y is y square by 2. So what is your phi? Therefore, phi equal to x y sin z minus minus plus cos x plus this 2 and this 2 get cancelled and y square z which is your required answer. It not contains integration constant because it is a total derivative. So this is your final answer. As we know this total unit is depends on the dot cross and simple product. Simple product means what? If there is a scalar, then simple product. But if two vectors are there, then there will be either dot or cross product. So by using this del and this r, we can evaluate some identities. And before to start the identities, we should know some basic part, which are these. So this is nothing but del of f of r. f of r means it is a scalar function. First of all, it is the function of r means maybe the r square log r e raised to r r cube 1 by r like that and del of f of r equal to f dash of r r bar by r for example suppose del of r square so what is that one so rule says that take the derivative of it what is it derivative 2r and r bar by r so r r get cancelled and answer is 2 into r bar so this is del of r square similarly del square of f of r you remember this formula f double dash of r plus 2 by r f dash of r. Also del dot r equal to 3 and del cross r equal to 0. You can see there what is a del that is a daba by daba x i plus daba by daba y j plus daba by daba z k. And what is the vector r? It is x i plus y j plus z k. You just take a dot product. So I am getting here 3. So but here when we are solving the identity, you must remember this direct result. Yes, by solving also I am getting del dot r equal to 3 and del cross r equal to 0. Even though del of a dot r equal to a bar and that is equal to del dot a into r. Here it is vector r. So, you must remember these direct results when we are evaluating the identities. So, actually in this total chapter what we have to remember that is with the del. Del is a vector, vector operator and by using that del I am taking here that is the simple product with the scalar that is del phi and it is known as gradient of phi. Okay. And the dot product it is known as del dot f it is diversion of f. And the cross product that is the curl of f means we are taking here del cross f. Applications of this gradient is directional derivative of phi. Means there will be problems on this gradient directly. So don't forget the definition of this one because mcq will be on this type of things. Also the directional derivative of phi is del phi dot a cap. A, a cap is a unit vector along the vector a. How to find it is a, a bar upon mod of a bar. And diversion of f 
So what is the application of that one? Or you can say the example of that one, the vector field f is said to be solenoidal if del dot f equal to zero. And the curl of f, the, the examples on that is the irrotational field. That is when del cross f equal to zero, the field is said to be irrotational. So without fail, you remember this chart. Now consider one identity. There a is a constant vector and r is xi plus yj plus zk then through that del cross a cross r equal to 2a. So what is the solution for that? So as we know vector triple product a cross b cross c equal to a dot c into b minus a dot b into c. So throughout this chapter I said that whenever 2 cross there then this formula you have to go. So here 2 cross and that is why del cross a cross r equal to by this formula I am getting del dot r into a minus del dot a into r. So for the identities you must remember this thing so I already said. So by direct result what is del dot r it is 3 and what is the del dot a into r it is a bar and that is why I am getting here it is a 3 into a bar minus a bar and that is equal to 2 a bar. So one can consider this as a MCQ. Now consider one more identity. Throughout this chapter you note that del of scalar into vector supposed to be or maybe here two vectors with the product dot and cross. So it is vector so either here should be dot or cross or simply if supposed to be there in this case result is scalar. So here simple product but del means just like a derivative and that is why I can consider like this. That is the first constant del of second with the same product given plus second constant and del of first like this whatever the result of this one. And that is why the what is the solution for this del of a dot r upon r raise to n. So I can consider it is a del of 1 by r raise to n is a scalar quantity and a dot r which contains vectors and that is why that is equal to again the just like that result first constant del of second with same product means here simple product. So same product I will consider here plus second constant and del of first with the same product. Do not change the positions. So first here as it is second as it is and now by the direct results these results I can consider 1 upon r raise to n what is a del of a dot r it is a bar so I am getting here a bar plus what is the del of this is a function scalar function of r take the derivative and r bar by r so derivative is minus n upon r raise to n plus 1 into r bar by r and what is the a dot r it as it is so a dot r it as it is and that is equal to a bar upon r raise to n minus n upon what is the power of r it is n plus 2. So here r raise to n plus 1 here r means power is n plus 2 and remaining thing as it is that is r bar into a dot r. Same thing I can write here del of a dot r upon r raise to n that is equal to a bar upon r raise to n minus n in bracket a dot r into r bar because here in between that there is a simple product so I can consider like this upon r raise to n plus 2 so which is your required solution hence proved. Consider one more identity there through that del dot r del of 1 upon r raise to n equal to n n minus 2 upon r raise to n plus 1. So what is solution for that? So again the same del dot of r del of 1 upon r raise to n. So I will solve only this part del of first okay and remaining as it is. So do not forget the basic part of this one. So I am taking now del of 1 upon r raise to n. It means that here del of f of r. Take the derivative r bar upon r. So remaining as it is so del dot in bracket r and what is the part of this? del of f of r means take the derivative and r bar upon r. If we multiply this two, so this r and this r get cancelled because both are 
scalar. So that is equal to I am getting del dot in bracket minus n upon r raised to n plus 1 into r bar. Again scalar and vector just like a uv rule of derivative. So that is equal to first constant del of second with the same product plus second constant del of first plus second constant del of first. So note here del of first minus n upon r raised to n plus 1 and second constant with the same product. So this dot I cannot put here. Why? Because this is a scalar quantity and that is why here dot. So by the result del dot r equal to 3. So I am getting minus n upon r raised to n plus 1 into 3 plus del of f of r. Again the same formula because it is a scalar quantity. So minus n constant take the derivative of remaining. So it will be a minus n plus 1 upon r raised to n plus 2 into r bar upon r dot r bar. So that is equal to I am getting minus 3n upon r raised to n plus 1 here minus minus plus n n plus 1 upon r raised to n plus 3 here dot product with this one. So in this total only r bar is a vector and that is why this dot product with that vector. So what is the a dot a? It is a square. So that is why r dot r it is a r square. So I am getting here minus 3 n upon r raised to n plus 1 first term plus n n plus 1 upon r raised to n plus 3 into r square. Left hand side is del dot r del of 1 upon r raised to n and that is equal to minus 3 n upon r raised to n plus 1. So r raised to n plus 3 and r square here. So 2 cancel. So I am getting n n plus 1 upon r raised to n plus 1. So simplify this. This is a r raised to n plus 1 and here minus 3 n and n n plus 1 it is n square plus n. So if we simplify it is n square minus 2n upon r raised to n plus 1 and therefore I am getting here del dot r del of 1 upon r raised to n that is equal to n common from this n common n minus 2 upon r raised to n plus 1. What we want to prove the same n n minus 2 upon r raised to n plus 1. So hence proved.